I'm here with uh, some of the members. We've got a representative from the Flugster group, mm -hmm. and from the Waldorf. the Waldorf group, and from the Sonnerstein group, and from the Werkstein group. They all came out today because we're having an open house, and they could learn how to, um, well, they can pick things, the kids can see where everything comes from, uh, never too young to begin. <laughs> when things aren't perfect, people don't want to buy them, but actually, like for example pickles the big ones if you ever grew pickles and you get big ones that are yellow you know they're getting old they, they were left on the vine too long those are perfect for making kind of a vinegar you just put them in a jar basically and then you put some liquid from other lactose fermented mjotsira so you could for example take what liquid would be on the bottom of that or liquid from last year's well here's one that we've done as you can see there are little different um, layers here. Uh, you do it in this thing and you just cut up the cabbage, mix it with salt, and we have a wonderful rendition of how the tiger hands are doing. <laughs> you missed that? This is called the tiger claws. The cocky should be very nice. Very healthy for the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so uh, basically, uh, the water comes out, and the water is very important because this is without oxygen. You can't have oxygen to make it. That's when it starts to do its thing. And how does the oxygen get out? When the cells break up, they're letting go of oxygen. Of C. You put it up to the top. And they, you put some weights there, so it's under the water that you've created by doing the tiger hands. And then you put some water in here, Rennel in the Swedish, that you put the water in, and then you put the lid on. The air is going to bubble up, the gas that created is going to bubble up through the water, and it's going to come out through this water, mm -hmm. but no air will get in. Mm -hmm. You can also do it in here, you know. You do it, you make it like this or any kind of a, whatever you have at home, you probably wouldn't be making such big amounts to begin with, but it's very good, you can live on it really. You're increasing the vitamin C, and you're taking a cabbage that's been on the, you know, that you could only eat, you'd have it in your refrigerator, and you can only eat it a short period of time. But then, if you have it in here, you can have it for years. I found one that was 10 years old that had pickles. It was the most delicious one I'd ever had. That, so they keep. If there was an emergency, you anyway have those things at home. You have your vegetables. Oh, I can't use my refrigerator. You can do it in that. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm.